early edition of Family Feud. Hello everyone, it's me, Lucky McCoy. Thank you for joining us here. Guess what? We've got two families ready to play. Somebody's going it alone today. Don't worry, friend. I've got your back. All set with some smooth grooves, it's the Lees. You want to know how to play the feud? It's very simple. We've surveyed 100 people, and you need to guess the answers they've come up with to our questions. The team that does the best goes on to play fast money and has the chance to win 20,000 bucks. All right, let's get this show on the road. Let's get things off with a good old face-off. All right, give me two people. You'll need seven answers. Buzz in first to get a shot at answering our survey. If you can find the top answer, you'll choose if your family plays or passes the round. We got 100 people to answer the following question. If you had a million dollars to spend, what would you blow some of it on? Think you got something? Good answer. Okay, then. Let's see it. Home. It's up there, but it's not the top answer. You still have the number one answer up there, just waiting to be found. If you had a million dollars to spend, what would you blow some of it on? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Is it up there? Car. Wow, that's the way to answer. You want to play, or do you want to pass and force them to play? This is your big chance. Let's make the most of it. What answer do you have for us this time? Uh. Yeah. Understood. Did anyone in the survey say this? Vacation. Yeah. All right. Yes. Got another answer? Uh... Yes. Yeah. OK. And what did our survey say? Quit job. Uh, it's not up there. So this is your first strike. Oops. Put on your thinking cap. It's time for an answer. Uh. That's a good answer. That's what you think, huh? Survey says... That's your second strike right there. If you had a million dollars to spend, what yeah. would you blow some of it on? Great answer. Yes. Let's see if the board's got it. Charity. Uh, oh, no. Strike three. Ooh, now it's the other yeah. family's turn to take a crack at it. Other family only need to find one answer, and they can take this round. Dig deep. 
Give me a correct answer, and you snatch these points from the other team. Good answer. Yep. Show me that answer. Gadgets. That's what we want. Yeah. And we got ourselves a winner. You left some answers up there. Let's see what they are. What came seventh? Motorcycle. Number six. Party. How about number four? Jewelry. How are those scores looking? I'm not going to say who I'm rooting for, but their initials are... It's time for the face-off. I want two people to join me over here. We want three answers this time. Get those buzzer fingers ready. We conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. Name something a doctor might stick into a patient. You're in first. What you got? Oh, nice. I see where you're going with this. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Nose. Dang, not up there. Good try. Have you got some feud for thought? Name something a doctor might stick into a patient. Yeah, yeah. that's a good answer. Okie dokie. Did our survey agree? Tongue depressor. Sorry, but no. Oh. We can do better than that, right? Name something a doctor might stick into a patient. Great answer. Okay, sure. Survey said... Oh, too bad. The top answer is still up there. Think you've got it? Name something a doctor might stick into a patient. Good Here we go, then. The survey says... Medicine! Nobody said that one. The number one answer is still up there. Name something a doctor might stick into a patient. Nice. Sure thing. What did our survey say? Needle. And you can't do better than that. Top answer. The decision is yours. Will you play or pass? You want to play. There's just two answers up there. Said with confidence. Let's see what the survey says. Finger. Ooh, we're so close to completion. Hey. Let's hope you haven't run out of ideas yet. Oh? Yes. It's worth a shot. Could it be up there? Let's find out. Thermometer. It's a clean sweep. Awesome. We've got a win over here. Are you ready to see the scores? Let's reveal. There's a big change on the scoreboard. Who's up? 
Are you ready for a face-off? I need two players down in front. We have four to find on this one. Whoa, things are getting hot in here because the points in this round are doubled. We asked 100 people this question. If Grandpa swears like a sailor, name a place you wouldn't want to take him to. You're up! That's good answer. Feeling lucky? Is that answer good enough? Library! Oh, it's not there. Okay, let's see if we can do better this time. Nice. That's good. And our survey says, church. Wowie, number one. You yeah. won the face off, so tell me, play or pass? Yeah. You've decided to play. Dig deep and think of an answer. Got it. Did any of our 100 people say it? Restaurant. Oh, oh yeah. All right. What do you think? We need another answer. So. Oh, nice. Interesting answer. Show me the answer. Movies. You've Ooh. almost cleared the board. Nice. If Grandpa swears like a sailor, name a place you wouldn't want to take him to. Yeah. All right, let's try it the answer we need. School! And that, my friends, is how you clear the board. You're racking up those rounds. Oh, they've extended their lead. Get your game faces on, because it's time for the face-off. Who's going to join me up here? I need someone from each family. We're looking for seven answers this time. Point values are tripled now, so it's still anybody's game. We took a survey of 100 people, asking them, Name a word that can follow magic. In like a flash, what do you think? Yes. Oh, okay. Let's see if it's up there. Trick. Numero uno. It's make up your mind time, pass or play. You gonna play again? Okay. We need another answer from you. That's a good answer. All right. Let's see if you're right. Word. Uh, Ouch, sorry. You've earned yourself a strike. 
Uh oh. Do you have an answer for us? Um. Great answer. That's what you're going with? I want to see that answer. Other family, I'd be getting ready if I were you. It's up to you. Two strikes. Think you've got it? Are you sure about that? Did our survey say it? Stick! Uh, I got bad news, folks. That's three strikes. Oh, Looks like the other yeah. family has a chance to steal. If they can find just one answer, this family will steal the board. If your answer is on that board, you'll steal that money in the bank. All righty then. Our survey says, I. You didn't find what we wanted. You've racked up another round. It's time to take a look at what we didn't find. What's behind number seven? Carpet. For number six, we had one. It's the fifth answer. Show. Let's see number four. Mike. We want to see three. Johnson. Here comes number two. Kingdom. And now it's time for one last look at the scores. We have a winning family. Oh, yeah. You've done it all by yourself, too. The oh, Lee yeah. family fought real hard, but unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> Think fast, because you're about to play fast money. All right, my lonesome lovely. Since you didn't bring anyone with you, you're going to have to answer these questions twice. I'm going to ask you five questions. I need you to give me the most popular answers. You'll do it once, then we'll come back around and do it again since you're all on your own. Get more than 200 points, and you're taking home the jackpot. And here we go. Name something you might be glad only comes once a year. Tell me something you might boil before you eat it. Tell me something that is purposely sold with a hole in the middle of it. Name something you might see piled on the floor of a teenager's room. Name a word that can follow tongue. That's everything. Okay, it's time to do it all again. Now it gets a bit tricky. You've got to do it all again with brand new answers. The clock starts now. Name something you might be glad only comes once a year.
Tell me something you might boil before you eat it. Tell me something that is purposely sold with a hole in the middle of it. Name something you might see piled on the floor of a teenager's room. Name a word that can follow tongue. We're all out of questions. That was the final question. Let's see how well you did. For our first question, we asked, Name something you might be glad only comes once a year. Your answers? Let's reveal what these are worth. We've got a top answer. For question two, we asked, Tell me something you might boil before you eat it. You said, Two impressive answers here. Yay. We found the most popular one. You remember the third question, right? It was, tell me something that is purposely sold with a hole in the middle of it. You answered, what did our survey say? Oh, Not no. your finest answers, for sure. You want to know the top answer? Donut. On our next question, we asked, Name something you might see piled on the floor of a teenager's room. So you said, both of these answers are looking strong. Good oh, on yeah. you. Yeah. You've won yeah. the jackpot. Let's take a quick look-see at the rest of your answers. That jackpot is all yours. $20,000 in your pocket. This is Lucky McCoy, thanking you oh so much for playing. See you next time. So, are we gonna do this again? So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day and peace out.